Hey everyone, Cory here. My name's Cory, and I make tutorials on Tutorials by Cory. Yeah, that's hard to figure out. Uh, if you want to make your own background, I did make a template. What you're going to have to do is go to gamevids.ourtoolbar.com. Uh, gamevids is my uh, other YouTube channel where I make Call of Duty videos and all that stuff. Uh, and it's free to download, so all you have to do is download it. I already have it downloaded, but you're going to have to download this. And when you do, it's going to, up here, you're going to see a smiley face and YTBG template. You're going to want to click that and uh, download now. Wait for it to download. Save file. I'm going to uh, save it as my desk to my desktop. There we go. Uh, and then we're going to minimize this. Then in Photoshop, you're going to want to open it up right here. And uh, this this is a very simple one. This is not the type of uh, background I use. I make mine uh, a lot better. And uh, it says do not delete, but you can actually delete this if you want. Or actually, uh, it says made by GameVids and Vivid, Graphic, Vivid Graphics. Uh, those were the people I was making stuff for but I'm just gonna make it say real quick made by me tutorials by Corey yeah whatever um, probably should have made that all caps not a big deal whatever you can cancel that if you uh, if you want if you want to put it on there little uh, made by me or help from me or whatever that'd be great or at least put it in your uh, sidebar that you got the template from me and uh, I know you will because uh, this is the only one out there pretty much like this so I, I will know if you got it but uh, to make a background it's really simple uh, you have the template like here over here it says do not delete we're gonna delete that uh, you can delete it too it's not a big deal uh, but just give me credit and uh, here's the background as you can see the backgrounds like that uh, the inner area, which is the black stuff, and then the fade at the bottom. Uh, the fade's very important. If you uh, want your background to go to white, all you have to do is click it, uh, color overlay, and change whatever color you want the fade. I have most of my backgrounds go to fade black. But uh, right now, we're going to go to a picture. Uh, wallpapers. A uh, very good website. It's uh, the link will be in the sidebar. It's wall.alphacoders.com, uh, and they have very good uh, abstracts, uh, dark fantasy, artistic video games, all that stuff, and uh, they're pretty sick. We're just gonna choose one. Uh, let's go with this one. Uh, what you have to do is click it first, and then you can drag it right into your Photoshop. Right here, uh, Control T, line it up here, and drag it to here. Uh, I make backgrounds all the time. Uh, I change my layout a lot, and uh, I do make my layouts. I do make the layouts myself. Uh, now you could have the background like that, and it look pretty cool. Uh, but you could also, I do have this the inner on a fade. You can also uh, get a different picture. We'll just go with, uh, we'll go to dark, see what there is. Uh, when you do a little picture in the middle, uh, sometimes this doesn't load. I'm just going to click this one then. It's a good website, doesn't always load, I'm not sure why. There we go. Uh, actually, this one's pretty good. It's not too dark. Uh, you don't really want a dark picture for what I'm about to do but I just drag it over and then lines up with that and then you can right click it and hit create clipping mask and what that does is it uh, takes out to where the thing above it is right here to the inner area uh, then it's gone but and that looks pretty cool right here and then uh, you can also put your name Uh, make it big. Right here. Uh, control T. Right click. Rotate 90 degrees if you want it on the left. I mean on the right. Sorry. Uh, rotate. 
rotate uh, 90 degrees clock work counterclockwise that's it and then uh, if you want it on the left and then now on my template it's a lot easier on setting it up but uh, you could just put it here if you wanted it and then drag it up to uh, match the top or however you want it and then okay uh, you can also customize this with uh, colors uh, Photoshop's really good to use and bevel and all that. I do like the bevel, uh, chisel hard. It looks really good, as you can tell. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, you can also figure out where it goes if you upload it to YouTube. You can figure it out. Again, this is a very basic background. Uh, I might make some people some, but this is just a very free, basic background that you can customize yourself. Really simple. Uh, then you want to save it, and uh, this is where most people have their problems. Save it as a JPEG or PNG if you don't want the background it, like this. If you don't want like a picture of it, uh, you could just make it a certain color. And then uh, just don't make it a background. Uh, just leave it blank, and then just choose the background one on YouTube. <clears throat> but we're going to make it a JPEG background right here. Test YouTube PG. And uh, this is a very important part. As you can see, this right here is 616.2K. And this quality is 12. What you want to do is click the quality and drag it down until it's below 256 megabytes. I mean kilobytes. Uh, right there's 241. That's good. <clears throat> if it's above 251, you won't be able to upload it to YouTube. It will say error or it won't say anything at all. So we're going to go to YouTube, open a new tab. And uh, this is my background that I made. I make all my backgrounds myself, I mean by tutorials by Corey, stuff like that. Uh, this is a very uh, more more advanced uh, background than I made for myself. I do make it for people, but it has my logo on it. Logo on it. So uh, if you want a background, uh, I might be able to make you some. Um, but again, I'd rather just uh, have you guys make it. That way, it's how you want it, and really simple. But uh, since I already have background image, gotta delete it. Go to test YouTube, and if you missed what I did, uh, go to themes and color, and then go to high, uh, well, show advanced options. And right there is your background. Uh, as you can see, it's lined up perfectly. Looks legit, and then fades to black. Again, uh, whatever color you want, you want to change your background color to whatever it is. Uh, you don't have to choose any of these colors. If you want to make your background like a uh, purplish, greenish, whatever, uh, get the number then, and then just put the number in here. Also, uh, <clears throat> make sure this is 100%, and also make sure this is 100%. If you don't, if you put none, as you can see, this isn't that bad, but it still looks like crap, and uh, you don't want it to look like that. And also, if you put this one as none, it wouldn't really show the background. So uh, all you'd have is the left and the right, which if you're okay with that, that's fine. But uh, I think this right here looks a lot better <clears throat> and I just made that in like two seconds well not really like maybe a minute or so and that's uh, really simple and then change the colors of the text you want uh, always make sure the text is visible um, people don't like being able to not to read it like I might make I would probably make this uh, and make sure on the black or whatever the fade is it makes sense so don't use a black if you have a black fade to make the font because it might show up here but won't show up here and make sure you save it and sometimes you'll get a little uh, like a little loading thing and uh, that's okay just hit save and it uh, refresh it and it'll show up uh, YouTube's just dumb sometimes and doesn't work but I like my old background and that's how I get it so again uh, just go to the link in the sidebar and download my uh, my toolbar right here it is free uh, gives me some money and that's going to pay for uh, like this like pretty much to give you the template for free uh, you're actually paying me for it but it doesn't cost you anything completely free virus free and it, it's also good uh, it also has like my YouTube my other YouTube uh, would have to it will have uh, this YouTube on here and uh, some other stuff that I'm gonna add and also a chat if uh, you want to chat but uh, most of you people are probably gonna come from my gaming channel so uh, this if you don't already have my toolbar please download it and then uh, again, you can always uh, save it. Make sure you save the PSD. 
and uh, there you go. I do use my templates a lot for uh, different backgrounds. I usually make myself a new background every couple days or whatever uh, just because I'm able to. So that's how you do it. Really simple. Uh, download the toolbar. Click up there. Download the, the PSD format. Uh, it only works on uh, Photoshop. So if you don't have Photoshop, uh, the PSD will not work in Paint. You will have to get a friend to make you one or uh, ask me and I might make you one. But no guarantees. I am very busy with my videos and I uh, don't really have time to make like a bazillion uh, backgrounds. But hopefully this tutorial was helpful and uh, you know how to make your own cool background and have a better background than your friends. Uh, take care.